Here's a quick shout out to our patrons. If you yourself would also like to be a supporter of the channel, please be sure to click the link down in the description below. This video is courtesy of Ezra. If you guys could, do us a big favor. Go in the comment section and thank Ezra for this commission. I thought this was a super cute idea. Um, yeah, so back to the video. Oh, hey. Is there something I could help you with? Oh, well, we just don't normally get many people in the studio like this. Did something catch your eye? Because you certainly did. Like, you caught my eye. I'm sorry. Um, you just have very striking features. In a good way. <laughs> well, to sum it up, hi, I'm Bradley, and I am... How do I put this? I, I draw people. Right, I enjoy doing portraits, so seeing someone with a face as symmetrical as yours is, wow, what a, what a treat. Mm. Have you ever tried modeling? <laughs> I'm not trying to just flatter you. Seriously, have you given it a shot before? Well, you should seriously give it a try. You'd be surprised how far you'd get. Mm-hmm. Well, as someone as beautiful as yourself, I'd be hard-pressed not to. So you're just walking around taking a gander? I find myself doing that sometimes, too. So take your time, please. Oh, me? Um, well, sometimes when it's rather difficult to clear my mind. I like to come here to the studio when, you know, classes are over. It helps me get through uh, artist block. Yeah. Say, you don't have to be too busy this evening, do you? Well, it's just, you don't normally meet people as beautiful as yourself, and I would be absolutely honored to be able to draw you. Would that be something okay? Okay, wonderful. Here, grab a seat. I promise this won't be too long. It'll just be a sketch, you know. Oh, I'm, I wouldn't call myself an artist or anything, but I dabble. <laughs> yeah, you can just sit right there. to do an outline of sorts, so that's why it looks like this. Mm. Oh, trust me, it'll, it'll come together. Even though you are very proportionate in both sides and both hemispheres, it's still good to get a feel for the proportions or so, um, the spaces in between everything, right? Because even though everyone may or may not be proportional, even if you are, everyone has different lengths in between every aspect, such as your eyes, um, the distance between the tip of your nose and the top of your lips, all of that. That's all very important to take into account. So tell me, what are you interested in relation to art? You don't normally meet airheads who just wander around in the art studio like this. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have taken you for a fan of their work. Well, no, it's just cultured taste. Yeah, you know your stuff.
I need to erase some of the lines that I've made so that, I mean, I'm not gonna have cross hatches all over your face like this. Plus I need to start smudging some of my graphite. skin. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't call yourself that. <laughs> I think that's a part of what accounts your beauty. I mean, any one individual feature may not look bedazzling on one person or the other, but once they're all together, you get a final image that is just absolutely bewitching with beauty. Everyone has beauty in some shape or form or some aspect. Obviously, I wish that I had something as proportionate as yourself, but don't be fooled. I may be a college portrait painter, artist, whatever you want to label me as, but I do hold myself in high regard to one thing. Oh yeah, I won't sell myself short. Sure. I've got some damn good eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And I don't even do anything to them. Yeah. I have got very picturesque eyebrows. Not to, you know, diss on yours in any shape or form. You have some very nice eyebrows as well. But, sweetie, the creme de la creme right before your eyes. <laughs> That's just me tooting my own horn. I don't get to do that too often, so I try when I can. So again, back to your striking figures. Hmm. You know what? I know it would make this a little bit easier. Yeah, it's just, I don't normally meet someone with, yeah, okay. Oh no, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. Let me just... Hmm? Oh, I'm just gonna get an exact measurement. Mm -hmm. Well, this is more so for a sense of scale. You see, when I'm drawing, obviously, this isn't a one-to-one -one, um, scale or representation of your face, but, you know, I need to know the proportions, and this just gives me a more exact measurement, so. Okay. And this is why I always carry around uh, some sort of measuring device. <laughs> mm. It's not a tape measure. It's one of those things that you measure yourself as you're getting ready to get into your summer bod. Yeah to measure the fupa, see how far you gotta go until summer. Mm -hmm. I wanna say I'm a health advocate or whatever, but it really is just a phase thing. <laughs> I go into the gym for a couple weeks and then I'm just like, okay, fuck this. <laughs> it's the thought that counts, you know? Mm-hmm, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm happy with my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really important to be comfortable in your own skin, you know? You know, hearing myself say that out loud seems kind of weird, almost alien-like, to be comfortable in your own skin. I don't know. It's almost insinuating that I'm in an exoskeleton, I promise. Okay, just as a disclaimer. 
I am a real human. I'm only digging myself deeper and deeper. I'm just gonna shut up and keep drawing you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gosh, your hair is amazing too. Has anyone ever told you that you had just beautiful ass hair? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you use any product, but I try and try and try and it's just, the natural hair gets the best of me. Mm, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. And I don't know if you're just going with the flow or whatever, but gosh, I could kill for hair like that. Thank you for being so patient with me. <laughs> Normally I don't take this long for something as simple as this, but for someone like you, I want to get this perfect, you know, well not perfect, but close to, I'd like it to be pretty good. Well, I don't know, I feel like I've been talking pretty big games, so I want to be able to back it up to some level. Hey, no peeking, okay? Well. It gives it more of a wow effect when the big reveal comes. Not that that really makes a big difference or anything. For stuff like this, I always think back to that one line from that movie, Mega Mind. <laughs> you see, the key thing is presentation, or however he says it. My memory is kaput. Okay. Just a couple of the final details. Oh, hey. I didn't know you had a scar there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would ask how you got that there, because that's an unusual spot to have a scar, but I won't pry. It's more fun to leave things to the imagination. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll do you one better. Check this out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, Zs, I won't tell you how I got mine either. Just kidding, I like to overshare in case you haven't noticed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got this when I fell off a bike, and not any ordinary bike, a tricycle. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't technically be a bicycle, because there's, the point is, it's really hard to crash on a tricycle, because it's stable. But when there's a will, there's a way. Oh, and you're absolutely right, um, this isn't from my childhood. No, this was from last year. <laughs> Don't ask why I was on a tricycle at the age of 18. That's another story for another day. Okay. Drum roll, please. You're not gonna drum roll. Are you seriously gonna have to make me do this? You can chime in if you want, but... Okay, you're, this is all you're getting out of me. Here you go. <laughs> what do you think? Well, thank you. <laughs> I tried. Mm -hmm. Well, I would love to use watercolors or any color for that matter. I feel like it would really make it pop, you know? And I also feel responsible for, you know, going the full nine yards with you. Not not like that, but I'm, I'm talking about the picture. Um, yeah, if that's okay with you. You don't have to stay here for that. Um, 
I can easily do this on my own. I've got a, a good memory for people like you. I mean, once you have someone like you in my head, it's hard to get you out. <laughs> okay. I won't keep you too long. Um, you can go ahead, do whatever you need to do. If you would like to keep rolling around and checking out the studio, I don't mind as well. Mm -hmm. If you need anything, I'll be right over here. Okay, thanks again for being so relaxed and flexible. Gosh. You know, it's also cool that you just let me talk and be the babbling buffoon that I am. I really appreciate that. We should do this more. Well, that's up to you. Okay. I'll see you around. Bye. And special shoutouts to our patrons, Mark, Minier Toast, Wolfie, Ian, Kelly Chant, The Unreal Thomas, Luke Simmon, M, Ezra, and Kura. If you yourself would also like to be a supporter of the channel, please be sure to click the link down in the description below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Sweet dreams. Love y'all. Good night.